These are the so-called best years of our lives. No work, no responsibilities. That's what the adults told us, at least. They left out the raging hormones, drama, and emotions we can't control. The homicidal teachers, the superficial friends, and the lies. This isn't easy, it isn't supposed to be, and mistakes are bound to be made. But we'll grow from these, we'll grow into us, away from these people we're expected to be. Basically, my plan is just to hold on, because it's not the best ride, but I guess it's not the worst either. Two hundred and twenty-two. What are you doing? You scared me. Afraid I was Anderson. Someone forget their honors English homework. Not this time. This is the first time I've seen you doing homework ten minutes before class, Allie. Mom's gonna start thinking I'm a bad influence on you. <laughs> She's known you since third grade, and she still lets you raid our fridge. Hey, Anna, can I borrow your calc homework? Yeah, sure, no problem. I'll see you in the hall later. No, I'm just gonna go behind the gym and do some drugs. <laughs> God, I'm still trying to figure out how the hell you can race with reflexes that suck that bad. Doesn't matter, I still beat you every time. That's crap and you know it. You shut up. How's that car of yours coming, gearhead? Uh, it's seen better days. I give you major points, man. That car's a death trap. You're gonna need a lot of luck. The day that car is running is the day I streak through cheering practice. <laughs> Good luck dating cheerleaders after that. That's a little oh. thing called dreaming. Ah, oh, Freshie. <laughs> learning how to make jokes. Freshie? Really? That's not even funny. We still hanging at the garage tonight? Nah, I got stuff to do. All right, dude. Have fun. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I, oh, Allie, I got you a sandwich. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, sweetheart. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, bye. Uh, I'm headed out in a few minutes. I, I'll see you later, Allie. I love you. Of course you do. Hey, Elise. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, school, senior year. You know how that goes. Sorry, we haven't talked in a while. I've been on control the last couple of days. Yeah, it's fine. But hey, five months, I'll be back just in time for your graduation. <laughs> Good timing. So where are you at right now? I love you, Elise. Be careful. I will. Hey, where were you? When? Last night, sharing practice. You missed it. Oh, I was busy. I had work to do, and, and I had a doctor's appointment for, you know, my throat. This is the second time, though, Allie. Better be careful. The coach is going to flip. Did you just get here? No, I was in the library all morning. Why? Yeah, you look like you just rolled out of bed. Rough night. Uh, okay, guys, listen up. We have graduation info here. You need to get this home to your parents and back to me tomorrow. It's definitely not all fun and games anymore. This is getting serious. You will be out on your own soon. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> all right. You're actually starting your life now. Things are going to change the minute you walk out of this door. You're adults. You're not kids anymore. What's that going to feel like? You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. You guys are going to be in control now. These next few years will alter the rest of your life. Uh, Mr. Anthony, can I go to the bathroom? Go ahead. Take the pass on your way out. Seriously? Hey, what happened back there? 
Are you okay? Uh, you know, it was just a little stomach ache. Just take it easy then. I mean, come on, we can't be like uh, What's this about? Some stupid thing on public speaking. <sighs> Guys? Guys on what? I couldn't tell you. Huh, no kidding, stupid freshman. <laughs> You're an idiot. I don't know. What did you say the next unit was on? Politics or war or something like that? I mean, sucks either way. <laughs> got that right. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just gotta go to the bathroom real quick. you kids sit back there, the longer this class is going to run. So come on, let's get down front. It's so nice to see you all. Okay, Scott. I'll start with you. Can you take one of those and pass them down, please? All right, people. You've all been assigned a monologue. All of them have to deal with American issues today. It's time to practice your fantastic public speaking skills. Who wants to go first? Scott? It's always me, isn't it? Well, you always look so eager to read. Yes, Mrs. Anderson. I'm not really sure what to think about the war. I'm young, you know. It's scary stuff. People getting hurt. Innocent people. Christian, you're up, kid. Our country has had many problems. We, we don't keep to our own as we sh should. This causes many innocent people to, to die for no good reason. We should not be going to war for reasons that are based on manip manipulated tr truth. We should not exercise ego. Miss Anderson. C can I go to the nurse? Of course, Christian. All right, who's next? 